So hi everyone, my name is Max Espinosa. I'm a former culinary arts student and now a full stack software engineer. <laughs> um, so let me tell you a little bit about me. Uh, I, growing up, I've always loved anything that had to do with technology and helping others. I took classes like robotics, STEM, IT, and psychology in school. And um, so, yeah, and, and in my free time, I like to read about the human mind. It's so interesting to me to see how people become the person they are today. Um, and yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about my project before we begin. So I wanted to create a project that aligned with my values and I'm really passionate about just animals and helping them. So I created a project that will allow people to input um, and sightings they see about like stray animals, lost pets. So yeah, yeah, let's begin. So the problem, right now there's a lack of a platform to document these sightings and it's really hard to just know where to put them. Um, right now we rely on posters or just Facebook groups that nobody really like goes on anymore. <laughs> or And yeah, so communication is a really big problem because like I said before, posters are a very common thing to do and some of them are outdated or the weather gets to it and they're all torn. Or maybe you see the animal one day and you're like, oh crap, I don't remember the, the number to call. So uh, that's a really big problem. And I feel like my website could be of help. And the last problem is that strays move around a lot. So strays are known for their unpredictable behavior. So you're never gonna see them in the same place twice. And without a platform, it's really hard to track these. It sounds like dating. <laughs> <laughs> so solutions, create a centralized platform to be able to document these sightings. Um, so these sightings, um, it would be really useful to have the images, a name, a location, and just to know everything in one place. So geolocation, uh, being able to see the, the last seen location on Google Maps is really useful because all you have to do is press send me to that location and then you'll get directions from anywhere you want. So let's get started. So this is my website. Um, before I press start now, I wanna show you a little bit about my about. So this is just a little bit about uh, Whisker Watch and our mission and just what I wanted to do. And as you can see, all of these images are also AI generated. I'm a big fan of AI. Thank you, Gio, or mm. is he there? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so let's click Discover. So as this is loading, you're going to be prompted with a bunch of listings. And uh, you can see the, the name, the description, tag, last scene, temperament. So that's everyone here. So as you can press, you see a button here, add straight. So you can play, press the, uh, fill out the form. So right now, we have this cat named Fred, and we, we just lost him, and I, I really miss him. So we're going to say that we last saw him right here at Boca Code. So you can also press use my current location, but someone who should, I'm not going to name anyone, disabled the location permits in this mm -hmm. computer. <laughs> so he's really shy. I can verify it works, though. It works in yeah, <laughs> So he's a really shy cat, and I want people to know that just so um, they don't scare him off. So uh, I'm just gonna press add animal here, and then he's gonna pop up right here. And then, whoops, here's Fred. <laughs> so we can press <laughs> view on that, and we're gonna be uh, shown with the Google Maps location right here. So we can zoom in, just look around the area, we we'll see, okay, guess he's a book of code, guess he wants to be a coder. So uh, <laughs> we press directions, and we can just put location from anywhere you want to go to. <laughs> so for my um, technology, I use Firestore as my database, Express and Node for my API, and Next JavaScript and Tailwind for my web app. And all of this was deployed using Google Cloud, so I'm a very big fan of the fern stack um, and plans for the future I want to use uh, AI to calculate just the, or suggest probable locations you might find these animals in um, I feel like um, when you lose an animal it's a lot of distress and you want just somewhere <laughs> and at least it's just suggestions so this would be really helpful and um, another thing would be rewards so every time you um, help find an animal you get a reward on your profile so this can act as an incentive to help others and just continue giving to the community community 
And lastly, heat maps. Heat maps. So utilize the data that we have tracked and just put them in a visual way just so people can see, oh, this is an area where usually animals are. Let me go look for my animal. So yeah, thank you very much. Connect with me. Uh, yeah. <laughs>